What is going on YouTube? We're out here today doing a photo shoot with Ryan's first gen lightning over here. As you can see in the background, pretty badass machine. And uh, it's got a blower on it, Pro Charger. Uh, built rear end, built automatic overdrive trans, and a bunch of other goodies that we'll be checking out here in a little bit. We're doing a full feature, hopefully be up on the web soon. Uh, I'll link to it on uh, my Facebook page and other things, uh, social media, when it does go live. But until then, you'll just have to deal with uh, this little video that I'm gonna put together. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. about yourself and about the truck, uh, what your name is, where you're from. Uh, Brian Griffin out of uh, Kenry, Illinois. And uh, I chose to build a 93 Lightning. Uh, due to the fact when I was in my younger years, the, uh, I had a Mustang. My father kept taking it from me, so I chose to show him up and buy a Lightning. Looking for another vehicle, I saw this and I said, "Well, I got to redeem myself." So I chose to redeem myself and start with the stock Lightning that I bought up in Wisconsin, with seventy thousand miles on it. How long ago was that? Uh, about two and a half years ago. How did you go from stock to what you've created? Truth be known, uh, I have a Dodge minivan that has two hundred eighty-five horsepower, which is faster than my truck. And in today's day and age, you have. All these V6s that have 300 horsepower and you have V8s that are just walking away with no problem. My generation back in the day, this was a fast truck, they don't make it anymore. So we took it to the dyno, the dyno said 171 rear wheel horsepower, and they said, well, let's put some more on it. We started building the top end. You put a top end on it and then that escalated? Yeah, basically I went over to Streetcar Shenanigans and uh, we discussed it and we built a plan. The plan was use the stock bottom end, spend some money build the top end, get some more horsepower, with plans of making it faster in a few more years. So we did heads and cam, so we set the cam up for a blow, and uh, we kind of made it road worthy. And that ended up dying. Dying when you had 380 rear So you had a blower set up and a you know, naturally aspirated. Correct. Okay. What, uh, what cam and heads are on this? Uh, you know, we've got Trick Flow R's on there. The cam is, uh, was custom by a gentleman in Kansas City. Uh, CSR engines, uh, custom ground the cam. Okay. Not sure of the size, we're gonna check the cam card on that one. And then that led to the next phase, which was? Well, I went up and I decided to go down Route 12, coming home from a little car show in Fox Lake, and uh, raced a motorcycle. I got home. I believe we probably blew the rings out of it, and uh, she was blowing oil out the catch can, going crazy. So went back to streetcar shenanigans and said, "What do you think we should do?" And they said, "Well, look at it." I'm the type of guy where I just don't want to have it. Have it. So I handed them a check and said, "Order the block," and let's build a 427 up So now it's a 427, same trick flow heads. Yes, it's a 351 based. 427 uh, with the F1 on it. F1 Pro Track. Yeah. Yes, and uh, what we chose, we did use the same heads and cam, and just changed everything that we did. We used the same fuel lines, we used the same casting, the same fuel pump. Everything was already preset up before, so it ended up working out nicely. So the expense would be keep growing and growing. Yeah, as I can see, you got a air to air on it now with yes. this. And uh, what fuel does it run on? It runs 110. 110. It'll probably stay that way. I'm and kind of old fashioned in this old thing. Behind the motor, what do we have uh, for transmission and rear end? Uh, basically, I'm the type of guy that where we come from, we kind of kept things somewhat original. So, what I chose to do was I kept the stock intake going in the correct direction as it did from the factory. I kept the E4OD and we sent it to A1 Transmission in Georgia and we built it throughout the whole thing. So now it's going to be a thousand eleven hundred horsepower which is perfect for our side. You don't have any converters in it? Uh, it is the 
Circle D. Circle D. Uh, circle D. Okay. Triple by Circle D. Okay. And uh, rear end setup? Uh, we went with an S track. I kept the stock casing. Uh, we strengthened it up, powder coated it. And then we did 35 spline and 9 inch ends on it. Uh, WIRC over there. They do all that kind of stuff for the, uh, the, for the rear end, so we welded those up. Okay. Powder coated it, built the rear end, and slapped her back on with a stock sway bar and stock uh, shocks. Stock shocks. Yep. Uh, what, uh, if any, traction age do you have in here or braking performance as well? Uh, basically, we upgraded the front just a little bit. I did that before we started this whole thing. And then we went over Wilwin in the back uh, and threw Caltrex on it. And of course, you'll see that it's lower. We used the Beltec to drop it down, change the front beams, shackles in the back, and uh, lowered it and made a nice stance. <laughs> and then threw some little bit skinnier tires on the front and threw some three fifty just to give it a little better look and a little bit more traction. What uh, wheel and tire combo is this? Uh, we have the welds, the uh, dark, scar, dark scars, uh, just with minnows in the front, and then I did the E streets in the back uh, that are basically bias ply. They're a drag radial that you can run on the street for sure. And these are 17s? Yeah, I went with the 17s because that's what the truck came with. The truck came with 17 inch rims. I stuck with it uh, just to try and keep it Modified, but not modified. Uh, as far as what you're doing with the truck now uh, and future plans, um, where are you going with it? What are you doing? Basically, my intention is to have a truck, a truck that you can drive on the street and take it to the track. Uh, my biggest thing for me is I want to be able to drive there, just like all these new Corvettes and new Mustangs. I want to run at the track five or six times, and I want to turn it on and I want to drive it home. So it's modified. I'm not going to put 2,000 horsepower in it. It'll end up having 1,000, I think, at best. Um, I want to try and change it to cog driven and up the valve springs and get that done. And we should have just about 1,000 for rear wheels. And my goal is to be a single digit truck, and then I'll be pretty happy and content driving around and have some fun with it until I'm ready to build the next one. On that note, you currently haven't raced in its current configuration, but you have dynoed it. We took it uh, to the track on the big pulley. I think it's a four okay. and a quarter inch pulley. And we were having an issue marrying the uh, quick four trans controller with the power for a quick second. Uh, you have to make some adjustments when you build a bigger pulley. So on eight pounds of boost, we ran an 11.3. So now we got it all adjusted, I hope on Saturday. Uh, we get to go up there again. She should be in the tens because now we have 12 and a half pounds boost on this pulley like we should be. And the small pulley makes 18 pounds boost. We haven't run it on that yet. For future pounds. <laughs> well, we're, I've ran yeah. the small pulley, but I have not taken the track. Gotcha. Believe me, I want to put the small <laughs> pulley on. I want to get into the nines and, and be happy. So that's the ultimate goal is to get into the, the nines, a single digit I'd zone. I'd be really happy with a 990, 980. Okay. I'm really happy with that. Very cool. Well, thanks for bringing your truck out. It's a gorgeous truck, and uh, hopefully we get to see more of it around uh, this year at the track. Absolutely. That is a wrap for today's shoot. Uh, I had a good time out here. Uh, got some really, really good shots. Can't wait to see how they come out. Uh, they look killer so far. Anyway, big thanks to uh, Brian for bringing his car out, truck out, uh, and uh, guys over Streetcar Shenanigans for helping him get this thing together. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.